Hi everyone. I um, want to show you what I was playing around with today, uh, why Marky was taking his nap. Um, pretty tickled with it. I um, have been so inspired by so many of you to play around with the clothespins and, you know, add them to different things. And I had seen some people were using, um, oh, like paint uh, stir sticks and you know adding them to you know, all kinds of different things and I I didn't write anything down because I was just kind of like you know watching videos and going through Pinterest and you know just kind of you know how you look at everybody's stuff <laughs> type thing and so I had come up with this little um, like wall hanging um, and so to to hang I don't know cards or um, tags or something I don't know just and it have to be you know on the lighter side because the wire that I used is thinner don't know the gauge exactly because um, it was pretty thin so I doubled it um, Rachel our daughter had um, given me that idea to instead of like drilling holes or anything this way I only have to worry about like one little hook thing you know or something but um, I'm going to kind of um, walk you through the steps that I did I have um, I had a couple extra wooden um, rulers and so I, I'm I'm thinking that I'm going to do another one like in different colors. Um, I think these would just really be neat uh, gifts. And plus, um, I've been invited to a, a friend's, um, she's having like a Pinterest party or something um, where a bunch of people are getting together and like giving each other ideas, you know, making something that they got inspired by on Pinterest or YouTube or something. and. And uh, so I might use this um, if I go. It's towards the end of the month, and um, and since it's already done, you know, and um, thought they'd get a kick out of this. Um, so anyway, let me get back to the pieces I had used. Like I said, the the ruler I used a p um, pieces of this. I'm oh, sorry, the lighting down here is horrid tonight, and my camera is not focusing so anyway let's see if we can get this um, so I used pieces of this lace trim here and I also used this paper pieces of this and it looks like it has writing in the background and some flowers um, it's a very old piece of paper and from my stash of stuff and um, I mean an old like paper line and I'm sure it's from die cuts with a view because um, that's all I had started buying you know when I had first gotten into all this um, and then I used some Mod Podge and then I also used the vintage photo uh, distress ink from Tim Holtz and the flowers are from, I believe, Wild, or Wild Orchid Crafts. And then I use this little um, plaque thingy um, that was in my stash of stuff. And it says, do what you love. And it has like these little rhinestone looking things or gem things, you know, in, this, in the uh, whoops, center of that. And I just thought it went well with the colors and everything. Um, it's a it's a different color for me. I, I haven't really worked with much of the like earth tone type colors. Um, trying to get situated here, I'm sorry. And, um, and of course my chair's squeaking. <laughs> so, but, um, so it, it's like I said, it's, it's, um, kind of newer colors for me to to create with but I just um you know I had them in my stash of stuff and and um and thought it it looked well once I had um you know 
started messing around with the paper and, and everything but what I did is I just took the ruler and I started piecing uh, bits and pieces of the paper um, Mod Podge those on and you can kind of see like the creases there of you know where they were um, placed together or whatever and some of it I left over and then what I did um, is I just kind of tore it off um, to give it more of that I guess rustic look I don't know if that's the old old look I guess <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it but um, and then I did the front and the back of this and I'm not going to turn it around but because um, I wasn't sure which side I actually wanted to use um, and at first when I started doing this I thought I'd you know made this huge mistake but I just kind of left left it going and and uh, to see what would happen and I'm really I'm really tickled with it um, you know at, at the end result because um, you know it's something different for me and and so I kind of went out of my comf comfort zone which I guess was a good thing this time um, but anyway, uh, and then on the uh, clothespins, I just cut little strips that they really didn't cover like the whole um, front of the clothespin. And I did do the backs as well. Um, but I just cut enough, you know, to kind of go down the middle of them. And then, you know, Mod Podge those on. And then what I did is I just kind of took a sponge and... Um, and I started just doing the the edges and that I wasn't satisfied with that so then I just started like messing with the ink all together and you know going all over the place and I really like how it you know picked up I'm assuming that's like where the glue had dried or something and, um, and you can't really see it but like there's you know different age looks here and there and um, just really unique I guess um, so then I just like the the little lace here I just took let me see if I can show you um, on this piece here like the there's these holes in the middle and I just cut like two of them off and then I would just like scrunch them you know glue it whoops glue it and scrunch it together and just kind of left it go wherever and you know hot glued that on there and then just glued on the flowers and um, whoops and so you know that's what I did uh, like I said I think I had said uh, Rachel gave me the idea of using the wire so I just wrapped it around and then and the wire looked pretty plain um, whoop. there we go the wire looked pretty plain and so I just made a you know made a bow around the wire and then put these three flowers on top now these um, more earthy I don't know brownish yellow I don't know what you want to call them but um, whatever that color is um, they're a tad bit bigger than the ones I used on the clothespins because um, I didn't have any more I th well I might have like one little one left and I wanted two for either side Ooh. oh excuse me <laughs> two for either side of you know the one in the middle and so that way when you hang it up it you know has a little bit of character on there as well so anyway this is my project for today um, like I said I, I'm I'm really pleased with it um, how it turned out and um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to even hang it at because I really don't have a whole lot of wall space in, in my craft room so um, yeah but I, I really think that I'm going to end up doing another one in different colors and seeing how that turns out so let me know what you all think and thanks for watching so much and um or thanks so much for watching. You can tell that I'm really tired. So, so I think uh, I probably should call in a night. You know, I don't know. I might catch a second wind here before too long. But, um, but anyway, 
as I was saying, thank you so much for watching and uh, subbing to my channel. And if you haven't subbed yet, come along for the ride. And, um, you know, hopefully I can help spark some interest uh, your way as well. So, anyway, we will talk to you later. Love and hugs. Bye.